Well, she is an international model breaking barriers in the fashion world. And now she is back home here in Northeast Ohio for a shoot this weekend. Olivia Depor and her mom, Vicky, and also designer Chona Bacalco join us now with more on their current project. Ladies, it's so good to see you. <laughs> so uh, during uh, during Kenny's segment and commercial break, I haven't been able to talk to them, so we've been kind of doing sign language. So it is so good to see you all ladies together. And oh my goodness, such big hearts right here. My goodness. So first of all, Mom, Vicky, get us up to speed. And Olivia, tell us what you've been up to these days. Well, she's been doing a lot of traveling, and it's primarily been because of Chona and M.M. Mm -hmm. Milana. They're joined at the hip. Um, you know, we've talked before about diversity and inclusion, and really, th this traveling is sending that message. It's out there. And without uh, Chona and M.M. Milano's help, we wouldn't be able to have that grandstand that we have. So, Liv, what do you think? What have you been doing? Well, it's fun day to have fun. So my name and my father and my name is my thing today. My, my oh, name. Oh my. So cute. I love the spirit that all of you ladies really invoke and, and put out there. It's just absolutely contagious and infectious. Chona, tell us more about M.M. Milano and how you ended up finding and discovering Olivia. Uh, Olivia, I met Olivia. Uh, in, the, in the Eiffel Tower during Paris Fashion Week, and we just got connected like sister. We were backstage preparing for the um, for the fashion show, and I saw her like, oh wow! I was always looking for some someone something special to add up, you know, like spice in in life in general. So, I am a fashion designer and a talent consultant, not just focusing on the regular requirements, what should be the talent look like. And then it should be for everyone. We include everyone, every, every place as we go. We just had our fashion show in the border, in, in Hidalgo, border of Mexico, Hidalgo, the southeast of the south of Texas. That's what how we include places as well. Yeah. It's not just like we went to inside the Eiffel Tower, Olivia. Yeah, we went to Manhattan, in Dubai, <laughs> and we are traveling around the, the globe to reach out more small places to bring fashion there. Because uh, I think these people have dreams too. And the, and the city needs to be out there in the world too to see that they have some uh, special places there and treasure that the world needs to see. So it's not only that we include people in our as our part of our mission. Like Stephanie, we call it like this is not just a fashion. This is more of a personal mission mm -hmm. for myself. Coming from Asia, from the rice field in a small island in the Philippines, and being in the fashion world right now is something like a dream come true to me. I have struggled in, when it comes to inclusion because I felt growing up I was not included in many ways. So I said my goal is to include everyone in everything that I do in life. And with the influence of my mom, which is until now, she's the oldest dressmaker in the island, I got, I had the opportunity to show that, that passion to the world by making dresses. And not just a normal dress, Stephanie, because we are a sustainable designer. We are using fabrics that are made of pineapple, banana, um, by the help of our, our small community in the Philippines. And also we have suppliers from Europe that are producing organic and recycled fabrics from Milan and from Italy and, and and Germany and Europe in general. And going back to Olivia, she was like, we became so close during New York um, uh, Paris Fashion Week. Uh, from that moment, I said, oh wow, I found my vocation here. I found what I was looking for. She was the first, if I'm not mistaken, the first ever, she's representing the beautiful community of Down syndrome. And for, if correct me, if I'm wrong, but for what I believe, she's the first ever Down syndrome talent to walk for Milan Fashion Week. And it, that's going to be, we will be traveling the world. We have so many places to go oh. more. We have Singapore, Hong Kong, uh, London, and Dubai, and Philippines. So we will be like really traveling the world, Stephanie, um, then sharing fashion. It's not just about materials, it's not just about how we look from the outside, but most importantly is that how we look in the inside and there's still 
Like, so like, you're, okay, you're like, so I'm, right. And real, real quick, because we're, we're getting toward the end of our, our, our show, we have to run to commercial break. Okay. But Vicki, tell us real quickly, um, so where can people see Olivia? Is, is, is it on websites right now with some of the teaming up with some of the fashion places um, or a YouTube channel or something? How else can we, can yeah. we watch her in action? She has some, some articles on YouTube. She has her own Instagram. She has her own Facebook. Um, also, this Saturday, we're going to be at the Arcade at the Hyatt downtown right. for a photo shoot with hand-selected yes. local talent and local production team. So we're using all our local wonderful people to be included, too. Well, so that's come fantastic. On down. We do have some yes. uh, amazing crews here, too, and that's that's wonderful to see. Olivia, you look wonderful as always, and, and I have to say I've Thank missed you. you so much, and you're doing okay? Yes. <laughs> well, you're with some wonderful people, and, and I have to say, too, the interview that you and I did when you were in studio was one of the last before the pandemic uh, back in February. And, um, and, and I've really cherished my time with you. And every time you come here to Fox 8, you just light up the entire station. Everyone loves to see you. And Chona, I'm so glad that you saw that in Olivia and you've partnered with her and doing so many wonderful things. You ladies are a, a, a dynamic trio. I love it. Thank you. Great to see you. I'm so sorry we're out of time, but let's do our sign language. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Love you, ladies. Oh, thank you so much. We appreciate that.